Hi guys, and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play the Sims 3 Showtime Lepezy Challenge. In the last episode, we had we kind of left off with uh, Miss Iris over here, who's currently working at the hospital. Oh, Traveler just keeps eating life fruit. I don't know where he's getting it from. I think he's just literally eating fruit off the ground and the fruit that he's eating or the seeds sorry the seeds that are on the ground are just so happen to be life fruit seeds i would think because farah ate, ate it too so i don't know where they're getting this from but you know what good for them i guess they want to live forever or something something along those lines i don't know <laughs> now he's eating a corn seed okay anyway in the last episode iris had an affair with what's his name uh wayne martin and the funny thing was, is that we were talking to Aurora Martin, who is his wife, and I didn't even know. It's also, oh my god, it is also her freaking co-worker. I didn't even know that they both worked in the medical field. That is going to be super duper awkward because literally before Iris went to work today, she was banging, she was banging Wayne Martin, so... <laughs> That's a, gonna be an interesting break room conversation. I can imagine um, Iris just sitting in the break room while Aurora's in there eating her lunch and then she's just kind of looks over at her every so often. I don't know why, but my Sims wear their bathing suits when they go to work. It's really weird. I don't know why it happens, but I'm just gonna let it flow. I don't know. So she only made 24 simoleons, by the way, because I did do a total town reset before I picked up with this episode. So I had to teleport everywhere, everyone back to where they were before. Oh, did he make up the pie? I had him make a cherry pie, I think it was. So I'm going to pop that right in the case here. And Fiona, I don't know why she got up from manning the register, but I definitely need her to go back there because look at all these sims that are here. You know, I know that it really doesn't do too much if she's behind the register, but it adds to the realism for me. So, all right. Uh, how about we have him maybe make up like a dinner roll or something he might not have enough time actually before the shop closes so i guess we'll have to see how, how far along he can get with what he's making um oh they bought the cake or the pie sorry is this do i set markup uh set sale no i don't want any sales i definitely want markup high price okay i don't know why that was only worth 40 simoleons that's really weird actually because that was an outstanding quality pie i'm almost certain of it all right um now that iris uh, the shop will be closing all right so everyone's getting kicked out of course well since these two are already out and they're both kind of hungry rags actually wanted to go on a date with his wife so let me see if i can have their routing not be so shitty and you guys can just go out there please get out of the shop so i can have you two um go on a date all right so rags is out here let's wait for fiona i always like to have my even if my sims are like a little bit older especially my adults that have been married for a really long time i think it's really sweet when oh wayne is now cheating i guess with another girl named emily okay wayne's just like doesn't know what he wants he's i mean he knows what he wants but it's not his wife he does not want to be you know tied down to his wife i guess also, uh, because I did the total time reset, all of their cars went in their inventory. So let me pop the cars back in the garage or at least Fiona's car. So maybe the kids can use it or something. I mean, I guess the only kid that would be able to use it would be Iris because she's the only one that knows how to drive. Speaking of learning how to drive, Jack will be aging up in this episode. He has two days and I don't even think he's started on learning how to drive yet. So i'm gonna really have to do a time crunch and honestly i don't know if we'll have him learn but i'm gonna try my best okay do i have my music on i think i do i can like barely hear it. i have it so low because it usually is super duper loud all right who is this oh he's a i guess he's bugged or something is that why i can see him i don't know all right let's see so we're gonna have these two married couple go out so i guess they can go over here maybe to like the diner or something i feel like they they should go on like a nice fancy dinner though that would be really nice do they have like a bistro in town they have to have a bistro maybe not does Starlight shores not have a bistro or am i just missing it wow i guess there's no bistro i guess i could just place one down but that's super weird because obviously like normally every town has has a bistro so i guess not yeah i'm not seeing one i mean there's this one here i guess this would do the restaurant yeah 
going to eat outside. I, I was going to see if they couldn't eat outside. I was just going to have them go to the diner, but I guess they can eat outside here. It's kind of a, it's one of those buildings that's like a, first of all, this does not look like a bistro. Let me state that now. This looks like an office building, which is what it is. It's the business and journalism building. I guess they kind of just stuck in the bistro here. I don't quite know why they did that, but all right, whatever. Lead Farah Horus. You know what has me wondering? I wonder if I can take our unicorn to like a destination world with us. That'd be really cool to have Farah like teleport around and, and stuff. And that'd be amazing because then I would be able to um, teleport and it would be it make like the tomb stuff so much easier. Like if we were to do the tombs with uh, with Farah or like do any of the little mission side quest thingies. Eat at Broad Street Business Tower and Grill. Is that where we are right now? I think it is. That's funny. All right, Iris, where are you? Let's see. Iris is going to go over to Rodeo Gogo -Go because that's what I want her to do right now. And what's cool about Rodeo Gogo -Go is I renovated a little bit. I said I was going to do this off camera and I, and I did. Okay. I did it right after I recorded the last episode. I added ticket booths and those turn table, turn turn rails turn what i forgot what they're called turnables i don't know the things that you walk through that takes your ticket and like charges you a fee i put those everywhere in, in at every um okay guys eat your cheese plate and eat your spaghetti she got normal quality spaghetti i feel like she could have gotten a better meal had her husband made it for her at home but it's okay this is like super awkward too because they're not even eating at the same table they're eating at totally separate tables this is dead where is everybody i don't even see a sim like, okay, there's one sim. Someone across the road, I think. Maybe? Or on this lot? Oh, they're back here. Hello, who are you? Edwin Gooder. There's a lot of good-looking sims in this town. Like, if you give them a makeover, oh my god, they're actually really freaking good-looking. Okay, girl, you gotta get out of that outfit. I don't know why she's in that. Oh, she's over here. Oh my god. She just did a flip off of the uh bowl the the rate the rise raging bowl whatever okay so we're gonna set a lock we're gonna exclude sims no um sims with a ticket you need a uh what's the cheapest ticket you can buy buy a ticket let's see and then i'll choose whatever the cheapest one is for this lot i just want to see let's see what is it oh oh they're all the same they're all the same price okay so <laughs> let's set a lock um allow only sims with a ticket blue ticket so you have to have a blue ticket from now on in order to get in here so go buy a ticket and oh she's what you didn't buy a ticket why is she trying to get in i said blue right i think i said blue yeah allow blue ticket holders okay this is so cool by the way i've never used this piece of store content so i'm like super excited to see how this is gonna work all right so now can she just walk right in or i think she can just go right in right she can just walk right through the and it should take it out of her inventory yep okay so does it take it from her or set locks uh exclude sims okay i'm so confused how this works special cats you can like um allow all these imaginary friends is that people are just buying tickets is that that's what's happening right now hello blue blue ticket holders that are also it didn't take it out of her inventory i'm so confused maybe if she didn't have that ticket she probably wouldn't have been able to get in okay so let's have her come over here of course there's no mixologist maybe there's one upstairs let's see no this is such a dead lot wow i'm sad this lot is so dead right now where are all like the good looking male sims that i was literally just talking about okay richard Steele. let's have her go over and greet him maybe it keeps it in the sims inventory so they can walk back and forth through this turnstile that's what it's called turnstile not turntable what was i saying <laughs> all right so she's gonna introduce herself to richard <gasps> Oh my god guys okay they have attraction to each other now i said this before but i have a overhauled attraction system it is extremely rare since i installed that mod iris and richard steel are the only two sims i have seen since i installed my overhaul attraction system uh like and that that's saying something they're, they are the only two sims i've ever seen that are attracted to each other since i installed that mod so basically what that mod does i've explained it in previous episodes but if you didn't catch it it factors in your sims traits it'll factor in richard Steele's traits it'll factor in iris's uh zodiac sign it'll factor in richard Steele's zodiac sign and a bunch of other factors as well and it, it, it will calculate a number 
obviously one to ten of how attracted my sim is to the other sim so you can find that on mod the sims it's a extremely cool mod because i know that when my sim finds another sim that they have chemistry with and they are attractive company with i know that it means that they are like actually the one so uh i am definitely gonna keep him on her radar i don't even think fiona and rags have any have any chemistry oh my god now there's like a lot of sims over here okay why don't we i, I kind of just want everyone to like be introduced oh my god there's so many oh i thought that was aurora martin i was about to lose my goddamn mind because aurora martin is the guy that um she was banging that iris is banging and like working with her and oh it was just oh and not she wasn't banging aurora martin she was banging aurora martin's husband that's what i meant to say by the way sunoko lee she has a super attractive husband so i'm probably gonna have well look at that blotchiness on that skin do you guys see that that is like so bad that blotchiness holy moly that is some of the worst skin blotchiness i've ever seen on a sim before i guess i never see their arm so yeah mitch mitch is her husband he is so freaking attractive oh my god someone else found holy shit javier Javi, or javid javid mir found fiona attractive whoa after i was just saying i've never found two sims that are attracted to each other literally find two sims that are into each other like within freaking minutes of, of one another okay that's interesting um anyway i'm having her just talk to richard who thinks iris is being boring nice okay all right how about you sub oh now she he thinks we're okay what is happening here they must have like really compatible traits for them to have any chemistry at all i'm gonna have them keep on joking and stuff like that by the way he's a criminal which is interesting because she's friendly and like oh oh i thought that was mandy i was like oh my god mandy best by the way is the one that i'm trying to have jack like pursue if it ends up happening then it ends up happening but all right i'm gonna have these two end their date because there's like literally nothing happening it's 10 o'clock at night i'm sure they're both very tired they are both old people okay it is about time that they go home and i might have rags take out jack to go and learn how to drive i know it's like freaking 10 o'clock on a thursday but i'm just gonna have him end the date it's not there's really nothing to it. okay go home go home they're all gonna go home so i can have make sure everyone is in like a centralized place minus iris i kind of just want one sim at a time to be out i don't like the the chaos of when i have like 15 different sims out of the house and then i have to like pay attention to all of them i kind of just want to be able to focus on one okay so she is almost friends with uh, richard seal over here now getting a close-up on his face i don't think he's the ugliest sim but he's definitely not the most attractive sim i mean his sad profile is a freaking mess but i feel like iris's perfect like petite kind of like dainty side profile will de if they ever have babies i feel like it'll definitely balance out because look at her little dainty nose her really plump lips like he has no lips but he has quite a schnauzer on him so I, I feel like it'll it'll factor out it'll factor out pretty well if they ever do end up getting it together but i know that he's not the most attractive sim okay but when my sims have chemistry like this especially when i have a really really narrow kind of like way that they can be have chemistry i'm i'm definitely gonna start to pay attention to that and i know that fiona had a, a chemistry with that guy that we just met at the business tower but or this you know this guy right here what is his name no it's not it's javid mir 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 i think mir is i is that how i say it? i'm sorry oh he's sleeping on a bench dude i told you to go home what are you doing he wants to read a baby book i don't know why but he's like really being proactive in this pregnancy he never wanted to read baby books before but suddenly maybe it's because it's like his last baby and he wants to like make sure that he does it freaking right he wants to make sure that he raises this you know future son that they have so i said that i was gonna name him nico that still is the plan um oh do they have chemistry at all let's see no oh my god she finds iris finds richard seal blindly stunning that's insane that's freaking crazy to me okay what does she think about this guy i remember this guy when i used to play um starlight shores like by myself he is a very attractive guy and i think he has a lot of money although the money really isn't the big selling point for me here because pretty much we're already rich i mean it's nice to work or to marry rich and all but all right how are you guys doing i'm gonna have uh rags and 
you don't need to use the restroom as well Ugh, i was gonna have rags take out jack but it's super duper late maybe i'll have rags go and use the bathroom here really quickly and then he can go and take his son out to learn how to drive oh there's unicorn here hello unicorn man it took me so long in the last season to find a unicorn but here like literally in episode four we are finding the town's local unicorn ariel horse how cute of a name is that i feel like it's kind of weird that there is a unicorn in this sort of town where it's like oh really oh my god oh he's a music talent scout oh he's in the music industry okay i mean that would mean he has like some sort of money right i mean i would think so how how are you how are you guys doing i wonder if they have any chemistry um he is straight okay let's see any chemistry do you find him attractive what's going on with that let's see um then i'll probably send her home let's see oh she finds him an eight out of ten okay uh here's another sim i'm going to note down on just my like make a mental note so richard Steele, she finds a ten out of ten and then isaac luck she finds an eight out of ten so these are both notable sims that she could potentially date sometime in the future but i guess we'll just have to see how that turns out i don't know what her uh what her chemistry is with wayne martin i think she they were like a five out of ten or something so really nothing notable all right uh you need to go and teach jack how to drive and then mila needs to go and head up to bed she is a little girl she needs her beauty rest so she's gonna go ahead inside and fiona's already catching some z's this baby is like making her tired she's gonna have her baby in eight hours by the way i'm so freaking excited for it like I, i'm excited for their them to have their last baby but at the same time i feel like um it's kind of bittersweet because like nico will be their last child i'm just uh i don't know i don't know how to feel about it is someone wake her up oh no she's yelling at me because she's like really tired and i woke her up that's what happened all right uh iris should be coming home yeah iris is home now she needs to eat like desperately i'm gonna have her have some grilled salmon and then she's gonna head up to bed she works at at 9 a.m so i think she's gonna be super duper tired but i'm, I'm trying to have everyone like especially because jack wants to learn how to drive and typically i do try to honor all my sims wishes to the best of my ability but the the, the way that this leprosy worked out um concerning the, the way that we uh is he's, he's gonna be too tired isn't he oh yeah he's like passing out this is probably not definitely not safe conditions for jack to learn how to drive if he's this tired but it needs to happen it needs to happen come on jack pull through buddy no yeah he's not gonna want to do it okay maybe when he gets out of school tomorrow the first thing i'll probably have him do once he even freaking steps foot out of the school is i will have rags pick him up and teach him how to drive from school because he we are on a freaking time crunch at this point like he has what one day or something like that yeah one more day i think mila yeah today is mila's birthday so i have to maybe we'll just have like a kind of um quaint family party for mila and then for jack we'll have like a big you know big bash because he is our he is our heir so it is important and then and b -b -b i can't speak and then i don't know why my my word just got like mushed in my mouth there for a second that was weird but i was gonna say and then uh we have to think about nico too because nico will be he will be getting born like relatively soon so oh why is she taking a nap why is she napping on rags side of the bed that's so weird okay go go sleep all right go rags just okay she, kiki's in the way jesus kiki wake up get your butt up get your butt up kiki and then go sleep kiki oh my lord dog move move please i almost just teleported her it was so freaking tempting to, for me to teleport her go sleep rags rags okay thank you oh my god all right ladies and gentlemen it is time guys it is time we are going to head to the hospital because little baby nico will be born and rags is losing his mind dude you've done this four times you've done this four times rags what are you <laughs> she's like move kiki move i don't know why kiki keeps trying to like she literally cannot get out of the bed because kiki's in the way and rags is like over here losing his mind oh my god kiki move oh my gosh okay guys you can get up now please thank you have baby at hospital yes all right well 
Uh, Kiki can have the whole damn bed to herself once Fiona leaves. Fiona, go get up, bitch. Why are you trying to still move her out? Okay, go jump up on there. And then you can have the whole entire bed, Kiki. Enjoy that for yourself, girl. Go take your go take your nap. There we go. All right. Well, of course Fiona won't drive because for some reason the or no, Fiona will drive. Rags will of course will not because for some reason it always makes the pregnant Sims, the ones that are literally freaking giving birth, it makes them uh drive it's so weird all right but they're gonna go in a really fast car so i don't even mind it's mila's birthday yay congrats mila so iris's carpool will come in an hour now she is in a really good mood for you know how she is how she's doing or what she did last and i guess she was like kind of at the bar all night so school bus will arrive at 8 a.m and i kind of wanted to read to, uh through some of these messages with you guys because one of them was very good to see and i'll show that in just a second here but let me make sure everyone is up and getting ready for the day i need one more bathroom or i need the shower not to be broken so that jack can use that ba bathroom instead of having to go into his parents but it looks like i kind of i have this bathroom wait does he need to yeah no, he needs a shower mm, okay well mila's gonna stink i guess when she goes to school instead i'll have her just come down here and eat some apple pancakes i think we need to hire a maid as well but i'll worry about that once the parents get home so a message that i saw last night mimi olivia and Richard Steele have broken up, which we love to see. Okay, we freaking love to see it. So I am very happy about that. I'm gonna send Iris to work in the meantime, and these two will just wait for the bus, but I hope that they are in okay moods. All right, guys, have baby Nico. I'm glad I already know that it's a boy, so it's not like suspenseful right now. By the way, I know it's a boy because she ate the apple pancakes, but unless, you know, maybe when I did a total ton reset, it reset the gender of the baby no it's it's still boy okay so we're gonna name him nico or we could go now nah, i'm gonna do nico with like n-i-k-o like nico bellic from from grand theft auto 4 so there we go um he was born with a brave trait and we're just gonna randomize his other trait he's gonna be a computer whiz so maybe i'll make him like a little dorky kind of kid but congrats on your last baby guys i'm so happy for you uh rags now should be able to complete his lifetime wish by the way if he lives long enough to complete it he'll he'll get the fourth child when mila ages up today for her birthday and then we'll see if baby nico is if if he you know rags can stick around long enough and his favorite color is blue his favorite food is spaghetti his favorite music is pop he is brave in a computer whiz and his sign is aquarius so all right, well, let's bring him on home here. I'm gonna put him in the parents' room for the time being. And of course, you got that damn imaginary friend doll. Um, but I got this message too. Wayne Martin was quite distraught to find that his award-winning VFN compensator went missing recently. I was forced to buy it back from a rather unsavory fellow and it cost me a pretty simoleon. Let me tell you, I was not impressed at all with the antics of that cat so <laughs> i guess wayne martin is like a rich dude and he got his stuff stolen from him are, are you guys heading out yeah go meet your friends and jack wants to become a world-renowned surgeon jack do you know what you're an heir to buddy you know you're an heir to this generation why are you getting stupid wishes like that tell me freaking tell me okay so maybe rags will take the day off from the bakery today and just kind of spend it at home with his wife uh, maybe i don't know yeah i have to decide but he definitely needs to make up some food for them so at least at the very least before he leaves to go into work he needs to cook up some food for him and fiona because they are both really hungry but i'm gonna put down a crib in here for the time being um because i feel like I didn't do this in the beginning of my lepasies, but it does make sense. It's more realistic where having like the baby's crib in the parents room for when they are babies and then maybe when they're toddlers, I can kind of give him his own room. But when they're this little, like we're talking like literally months or weeks old, I feel like how, okay, I have a question to you guys. How old do you think this baby is right here? I would think like maybe a month or two old like the baby is so so freaking little and as opposed to like in the sims 4 i feel like or no alongside with the sims 4 i feel like the babies are really really young and um 
that's just my two cents on it. I don't know. I just thought sharing that. But anyway, I was going to say that I think it makes sense for the baby to be placed in the parents' room when they are that, when they are that little. Okay. I need to find a different place. Got to kind of figure out a different arrangement here of these potted plants because we don't have quite enough room to like, I guess that will fit there. But it's kind of like in the middle of the rug. I don't want it to clip through. My biggest pet peeve is when the freaking potted plants clip through the wall. It's so frustrating. Mm, is that no, i'm gonna just move it over like a slight touch and move objects on and that should it shouldn't clip in the wall i think that's fine it's gonna start going through there yeah it's gonna go st start going through there right now keeping an eye on right there all right <laughs> i still see the fucking plant oh my god okay that's good enough and then let's give him a nice little color for his crib i'm gonna put it like that and since blue is his favorite color, I will make his sheets in here. I'll do something blue. Uh, I always like this pattern a lot, but maybe if I kind of darken it up. I feel like when I use these default patterns too much, I get bored of seeing them. And then I just like don't ever want to use them again. I'm going to make that white right there. And I'm going to grab the wood pattern from the bed that he was made in. And, <laughs> and I'm going to put it on his crib because just so the woods kind of go like you know they blend in together with the rest of the room all right um oh that wasn't that wasn't on his crib that was on this bed okay there we go now we're good so let's put him down in the parents room fiona can just place him down in there and then we're gonna have rags call for a maid because this house is a freaking disaster fiona why did you just put him down on the grounds why did you just do that go and pick him up and put him in his crib okay don't react to the wet dog come on and then we're gonna uh hire a maid a recurring maid and let's make sure that this is set up yeah that's set up all fine all right well how about you come over and give kiki a little brush she does want to become like best friends with kiki so it makes sense i think she just went swimming that's why she's like shaking off and stuff do i hear a bird out here i do also by the way this back door is not set as the front door so that's why all the newspapers are getting delivered back here it's so weird i saw this crop circle of newspapers like uh, uh, when i was doing some builds a couple of days ago and i was like what the hell is happening and then i just never set this as the front door so the game this entire time thought that this sliding glass door i think was the front door as the entire freaking time so that's just wonderful all right fiona uh let's have you get out of those gross base game clothes and change into your nice everyday wear i'm gonna have her go and take a nice relaxing bath and in the meantime rags is gonna cook them up some lunch i guess i was gonna have him cook up some breakfast but it's a little bit late for that so he can make up some lobster thermidor you know you can get it like a nice little meal going for everyone and the mate should be here relatively soon to to kind of clean this place up it is a freaking disaster how are my horses traveler is just fine how is farah farah could be a little bit better i'm gonna have him go and eat some hay in his pen it looks like they're kind of getting kind of getting clogged up over here can i turn on the lights in this room so it's like not so dark in there thank you all right looks good so what does he want to do he wants to run the jumping course okay i like having a jumping course on our property it's actually really nice because i don't have to take them all the way over i mean we don't even have an equestrian training ground anymore so i couldn't even do that if i wanted to do, to do that if i wanted to you know bring them over there but now we kind of just I can do it at our lot so that's nice oh wait this isn't designated as a jumping course is it no it's not so he's literally going to be jumping through one post yeah okay Wait, is his jumping at level 10? Oh, no, it's not. That's probably why he wants to run the jumping course, isn't it? Yeah, that makes sense then. But it's not, like, designated as a jumping course, so I guess I can't do it like that? I, I don't know. But here we go, Lobster Thermidor. Uh, Fiona's gonna get out of the bathtub and gonna go eat some perfect quality Lobster Thermidor. At the very least, she needs to take, like, a nap or something today. Oh my god, Rags is not in a very good mood either. Okay, go answer your phone. What is the problem? Go, oh yeah, you like that? He like kissed his hand like it was delicious. I'm sure it was. He's such a good cook. And now the game wants him to go and eat at the restaurant literally once I had them eat. That's just my luck. That is just my luck. But all right, these, I think Rags is not going to go into the boulangerie today because he is just way too tired. I hear a bird somewhere. Do you guys hear that? I hear a little birdie. Oh, here he is. Hello. 
not hatch that's the species of the bird how about fiona come over here and gonna go she's gonna go befriend him she is like one with nature so maybe she'll be able to do it oh she can't get to it i think what's the problem she met nigel martin at school go and befriend oh she can't go can you watch him at least she can watch him but she can't befriend him which is kind of sad so he's just sitting out here like chilling unable to be caught no why don't you go and take a nap we definitely need to have a little bit of energy before we have mila's kind of family get together tonight um it's just gonna be them it's not gonna be like a whole you know inviting everyone and their freaking mother but oh you know how to clean that up i forgot that i have the maid here right now so i'm gonna have fiona go and head over to the spa she should be out in time to celebrate mila's birthday but she can just go get a facial or we're gonna have her go get a seaweed facial i guess uh you know she just had a baby so rags wants to treat her to a nice relaxing nice relaxing time i'm i'm sure um because you know having a freaking baby it's it's quite a feat so i'm sure that he's i mean rags is like such a good guy i feel like why does everyone keep taking oh i think it's because iris has the pickup truck i was i was wondering why fiona kept taking rags's car but yeah it's definitely because uh, iris has a pickup truck all right how are you guys doing oh my god everyone's just freaking exhausted mila wants to become a doctor too and you know what that would have been so funny because had i locked in this lifetime wish for jack mila would have also had the same lifetime wish as iris and jack so all three kids like wanted to be freaking doctors for some reason i don't know what it is maybe it's like something with the bell children where they all have this compulsion to just be doctors <laughs> i don't know i'm gonna wake up rags no you know what rags can oh jack wants to go over to calvin's yeah that's, just, that's fine although he needs to be home before uh his little sister's birthday party okay kiki please don't wake i was gonna say please don't wake rags up he's so exhausted he had a baby at like five in the morning when he had only gotten like an hour or two of sleep how's my maid doing all right this house is still very messy still very chaotic uh this shower is probably yeah the shower's broken that toilet's clogged i might just call actually rags has repair skill doesn't he because if he has repair skill he can just yeah he has okay repair skill fiona will be home shortly and i know for sure she yeah she also has some repair skill so maybe i won't need to i was i was just gonna do it like out of pure convenience but oh she met all of her classmates that's actually really nice that she met all her classmates before she aged up to be a teenager because now she will have like the most amount of connections possible because then she'll meet the teenagers when she goes to school tomorrow as a teenager so i'm all about it oh he's going over to calvin's so calvin i think works so for some reason ea made this family this you know calvin here living by himself it's really weird to me because for one you cannot make a teenager only household just through base game you have to have like special commands in order to do it so it, it really does confuse me why they made this uh household when you can't even do this in base game oh he's just exhausted okay why don't you go and take a little nap on his sofa oh no maybe not no i guess he is there's no one here to yell at him so i guess okay He's just getting up. So I, I think Kelvin maybe had work or something after school. I'm not sure, but he definitely isn't here. So I'm just going to send Jack home. I wish that Calvin would have showed up. That would have been cool for Jack to hang out with him, but all right, whatever. And Rex had a really nice nap, it appears, before the baby started to scream his little head off. So, uh, oh, Fiona's home as well. Okay, Fiona, I need you to do me a solid and repair that shower and toilet i don't know how he manages how jack managed to mess that shower and toilet up like at the same freaking time but he's just he's a special guy oh and of course he wants to improve his commas interest skill nice what are you doing she's in her freaking bathing suit for some reason she's getting a phone call so i'm gonna have her answer it maybe it'll be like a date or something like that for her everyone's being everyone's tackling and like playing with mila it's so cute go to the stadium no i thought it was a date my ass really did think that was a date damn it now i'm just disappointed that the game like didn't give me a date and fiona already repaired that toilet in jack's room so she's so quick with it look at this smooth skin a fabulous facial clears the pores and brings a glow to the recently smooth skin that's rather refreshing oh she wanted to get a massage oh i'm sorry I gave her like the wrong treatment she did not want a facial she wanted a massage uh my bad i'm sorry i'm gonna put down one of those baker stations that we have at 
the boulangerie because I want rags. I almost said Jack. I want rags to make up a cake for his daughter. Oops, I deleted the car. I did not mean to do that. I want, yeah, I want him to make a uh, special little cake for Mila's birthday. You know, you're only like 13 once, so it's important that he cooks her this. Can I not place that there? Yeah, I can't place that there because it's too close to the platform. So I'm going to have to delete something. And I guess I could just turn move up just on back on, but I kind of like the look of there being no countertop right there. So maybe I'll just keep it like that and I'll place the baker's dozen. What is this called? Baker's station. Sorry. Uh, I'll place that down right there and then I'll make this. I like the look of like the, the retro, the red color, but it doesn't really go with the kitchen because the walls in here are blue. So I'm going to make that station blue as well. I think the we have a red one at the boulangerie, no? Maybe I'm remembering incorrectly. I probably, it's probably not blue. It's probably like a totally different color. All right, so Rags is going to go over there and make a birthday cake for Miss Mila. He should have enough time. I'm going to also make sure Mila is in a good mood for her own birthday. She's going to go take a shower up here. She's going to get all nice and cozy. Make sure she doesn't stink. And Rags wants to learn in an athletic school. I feel like he really is not feeling his age. He doesn't realize that he's like a 60 year old man now and he can't push himself as hard as he used to. He kind of just, he kind of just keeps on going. I'm going to change Iris. I don't know why she's still, oh, Fiona, you have one more thing to repair. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm not even going to let her touch that because that freaks me out. I think we got electrocuted before or something like that no i was playing sims 2 and i forced my sim like don lothario or something some one of his appliances broke and i forced him to clean it or repair it sorry and he got electrocuted and freaking died or no he got electrocuted and then i didn't take i didn't think that that was you know reason enough for him to stop and i pushed him again to do it and he fucking died so i'm i i know it's like a totally different sims game but I'm like super paranoid now that all my sims are gonna die when they repair stuff. Oh my god, everyone is just so sleepy. They are gonna go to bed so early tonight because everyone got a shitty night's rest. Like everyone in this entire household did. Oh, Kiki's not having it with okay, go train her to hunt, I guess. And that should be that should get the relationship up pretty quickly. Jack, where are you going? He's gonna go. He's trying to sleep. I know, buddy, you're tired. It's a Friday night though. I want you guys to have like fun. Who is this? Oh, this is Peaches. Can I just delete this doll? Yeah, I can't. Oh no, I can't. Shit. Maybe if I go in master control, I guarantee going in master controller will let me delete this doll. I guarantee it. Let's see. Um, move to family inventory. That'd be an object. Who am I? No. Debug, Forest Live, Set Ownership, Change Pose. These are actually really cool, like little interactions, or not interactions, but really cool features that you can do with these dolls. Sorry, I got distracted, but I'm gonna move the doll to the family inventory. I just don't wanna see it out anymore. I don't wanna have to deal with the doll. I just don't, I'm not about it. What is this praise for being a, she peed on the floor. That's what this big freaking pile is, or this big puddle, sorry. Okay, well. Hopefully she's not a piggy. I'm going to have everyone gather in the kitchen so that we can age up Mila. It is her it is her birthday time. I know, Jack, I know you're tired, buddy. And Mila herself is like trying to go to sleep. But it's important to celebrate your little sister's birthday. So, all right. Mila's going to go and blow out those candles. And um, Fiona is got to get her butt up. Fiona, I know you're tired, girl, but you got to go. It's your daughter's birthday. Mila, I mean, Fiona, come see Mila. It's her birthday. There we go. She she made it in time. Jack is like kind of in the way, kind of not in the way. Okay, guys, I know. I know everyone's like trying to go to sleep. They're so tired. Mila's got to age up though. Okay, we made it. We did it. Now everyone's celebrating. All right, good. Good. I know there's like a giant freaking puddle on the floor, but we'll just have to pretend like it. it's not there. If you, if you can't see it in the video, then it's not there right it doesn't exist but look at this nice little family get together happy birthday mila i'm happy for you girl she's so cute i'm excited to see what she looks like when she grows up i think we already looked at it though and i think she was cute so we'll see all right yes make your wish and we have unroutable sims of course as expected with the sims 3 unroutable sims but here she goes any second now she should age up it always takes so long from the second that they blow out the candles for them to like actually age up. Mila Bell is having a birthday party. Come one and all. Oh, I think 
Iris just not yeah Iris just canceled the interaction because she's so tired here we go happy birthday Mila and boom so because of her success in school you may choose a trait for Mila I'm just gonna randomize it she oh I'm not an angler not for mm, she can be frugal I just don't want angler like that was not that was not it all right and, oh she has a height slider on I don't know if you guys just see, saw that but she like kind of popped up a little bit yep she's got a height slider oh she has the old lady voice too that's so weird she's got an old lady voice what since when that makes me sad i don't want no old lady voice for my daughter oh throw a birthday party for mila well a little bit late for that i mean we kind of had a birthday party it was like a little family get together i guess but yeah okay guys you can all head to bed oh jack's going to go eat some birthday cake i guess he wants to enjoy with his sister here they're got the same nose don't they got the same nose i i like jack because he got a uh, different eye color and different lips than all his other siblings all the kids honestly if i'm being honest they really 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 resemble fiona and that's good at all because fiona's like a freaking gorgeous girl but literally iris i don't know rags rags's genes are like 10 percent effective and freaking fiona's genes are like 90 percent effective iris um iris looks like her mom jack looks like his dad which i'm appreciative of and mila for sure looks like her mom so i'm gonna uh give her a makeover off camera and why did it just cancel cancel that i don't know why is she can she not get upstairs or is she just tired i think she's so tired that it canceled it out even though she's going to go to sleep i guess and oh yeah jack is exhausted so i'm gonna send rags uh back to bed too or i'm gonna send rags to bed not back to bed he never was i mean i guess he did take a nap early in the day but he's still kind of tired so he's gonna head back um to to bed i guess and tomorrow in game we need to get the show on the road with teaching jack how to drive now three skill levels of driving in one day i guess we'll see if we can do it that means that one of the parents is not we're not going to be able to play with one of the parents because obviously one of them needs to teach jack how to drive so my my freaking method here is to use the tab cast to raise jack's phone up so he doesn't get too stressed out and alternate between fiona and rags when we are teaching him how to drive so that they can both keep their mood in the green because if it's in the yellow then i think it might cancel it and fiona wants to teach mila how to drive so i guess i'm gonna have to lock that one in too but who no one wants to teach uh, jack how to drive they just want to see him both age up well is this goldfinch still out here yes this goldfinch is still out here okay i th honestly think that this thing is glitched because it's been here like all day and i don't think it's supposed to be so i'm gonna reset it oh it's dead on the ground okay that's cool well Wait, it's not dead. It's still it's still chilling here. It's been here all day. Okay, it glitched in the ground for the time being. Okay, can I delete it? I'm, I'm, it's been here all day. It, it should not be here. I just feel like force error. Force an error. Script one shot function task function method void run. Void run. The, the bird can run? Okay, can I not delete it? I just can't delete it. I can reset it. Can't delete it. All right, whatever. I could move it to the family inventory. I mean, Fiona probably could catch it if she was able to, but she's not like able to. I, I had to try to do it before and it just didn't work. So, alrighty, well, let's put it on speed three, shall we? And kind of speed up this process and learn that Lindy has a partner. Cool for you guys. I'm happy for you. I kind of want to keep the tabs on Mandy as well. I don't know what ever happened to her. We have Ab Abigail Best wait a second i just had a thought you know what i bet that the best household was too filled up and the game automatically moved kelvin to that cheap rental house you know what that's what that's what happened so wherever the best family lived normally in the game the uh the, there i guess there wasn't enough beds and so as a result master controller moved the sims and kind of like split them up a little bit oh my god <gasps> iris oh this is the guy iris cheated with the martin family but oh my fucking god because they have two children iris you are a whole freaking home wrecker girl you are a home wrecker <laughs> i didn't realize that they had so many kids i thought they only had one oh my god kiki drives me actually insane 
I think I gotta lock the bedrooms so that the dogs... This is what I did in my old house when I did those renovations on Grandpa's Grove. I had to lock the bedrooms because the dogs and the cats, they, they do this where you can't get out of the bed. And it, like, really is quite annoying. So I'm gonna lock as sweet as it is. Okay, I do understand it's sweet. Lock this door for pets and we'll do it for Jack's room as well. His room is so empty. We need to, like, put more stuff in it. Okay, that's it for the bottom floor. So we're gonna go up to Mila's room. We will lock it for pets so that they can't just go in and out of the doors. We will lock uh, Miss Iris's room. And I think those are, yeah, those are all the bedrooms. Did you not take care of the baby? What are you doing? You you can get out of the bed, you know. You're, you're okay. I, I moved her. I moved her. Thank you. Okay. We'll give her him a bottle. Oh, shit. I need to lock this one too. I forgot they have a sliding glass door back here. So we'll lock it for pets and jack doesn't have one so we don't have to worry about that i don't think that's they can't get up here no they can't that there's a window what am i saying oh my god I don't, i'm losing my fucking mind all right guys well i'm gonna end this episode right here i hope you did enjoy it i had a lot of fun recording it baby nico was born mila aged up it was a fun time but i will catch you all in the next one hopefully we can have iris get a uh, kind of wedge herself in some more families shall we and that'll just be a grand old time so yeah thank you guys all so much for watching i really do appreciate it and peace out